on to be snow and ice control policies and procedures. Between uh, Wolf Paving and our own DPW crew, we have expended our entire allotment of salt for the year. We have ordered an additional 500 tons. It is becoming increasingly difficult and expensive. The 500 tons that we ordered was in uh, about $20 per ton more than what we had paid per our contract at the beginning of the year. Um, multiple communities are going to blended uh, salt and sand and perhaps salting and sanding only major intersections, hills, and curves. Uh, and so and there's no there's no end in sight for salt becoming more available. So I guess what would the board like to do? Do we want to set a policy to have a chat with Wolf and change the way that they're plowing, uh, the frequency, where they're salting? What do you recommend? I would recommend we follow some of the guidelines of other communities around us, um, salting hills, intersections, curves, and uh, backing off on the amount of times that Wolf is going through areas. I know in my own subdivision on Wednesday last, between midnight and noon, they went through my subdivision five times on a one or two inch snowfall. We're going to have to have a stipulation, obviously, depending on the snowfall or the, or the occasion. Because if we have a major snowstorm, I don't think salting just intersections are going to work. The one and two inchers, like we've been having, um, we've got to conserve wherever we can, so I would agree to do that. And then people are just going to have to watch the, law, the way they drive on the straightaways. Fisher? Yeah, two things. I um, support the recommendation that we just made a couple of minutes ago. Um, the other concern that I have is we had a, a meeting with uh, representatives from Wolf um, several weeks ago, uh, at which time I specifically requested that they provide route maps for us. I think what they're doing is not e as efficient as it could be. They're just working off of area maps. And we've had areas that have been missed and skipped, and I'm particularly concerned that um, unless somebody else knows about it, they've yet to produce those route maps. Can anybody provide any enlightenment to that I've seen or heard nothing about? <clears throat> yeah, the other day I was in the office, and Jerry does have um, each zone broke down to a priority. It's not an exact route map, because the way I understand is if we're if there's a, a huge snowstorm they may come out plow get started on their secondary roads and if it's coming down enough they'll have to pull off and go and hit the primaries again so they can't give us an exact map but jerry and i think they're in the office um has each zone broke down to the priority and secondary roads in the way they plow. That, and, and thank you, but again, that is not my request. That's not what they offered to provide. We needn't belabor that at this point in time. Uh, they had some difficulty even understanding the, the differentiation between an area map and a route map. So no need to belabor that. Um, perhaps after the meeting you can show me what it is and whose work product it involves, and we can go from there. Thank you. Is there any appetite from the board to be setting a policy of blending salt and sand? Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Mike. I do believe there is something in the office that indicates priority roads, intersections, hills, if you will. Uh, does anybody know if that still exists in the office? There's How long ago did you see that, Mike, in the office? Oh, uh, that was better. Jerry had that last year and even the year before. We worked on this issue over the last few years, and that's why I bring it up. Well, I'm, I'm talking about this year. What's, what's there, Mike, is a list of roads that are our main roads. And what we're looking for is when you have a driver in Route 3, for instance, which roads is he beginning on? 
where is he in the middle of his route and where does he finish his route that's that's what we were after so that we had an understanding of what exactly their procedures were um, back to sand though we're um, the cost to blend sand and salt a 50 50 mix would be 44 dollars a ton uh, the last amount of salt we bought 500 tons at 73 dollars a ton I would suggest that it's not necessarily just a problem of the cost of the salt, but rather the availability coming up. <coughs> Last year, from the period of about January 15th through the end of the season, we consumed 1,262 tons. And we're going to have our trouble. We're going to have trouble getting on our hands on any more than the 500 tons we've just ordered. So the policy you want to make is just for this year? Are we going to do it yearly? No, certainly just with, with a shortage this year looming. Okay. <laughs> you answer, answer, since I'm taking the notes, I didn't mean to interrupt you, sir. Oh, okay. Since I was taking the notes, I was going to read what the motion might be at this moment. If someone were to remind us, if you're still talking, I'll wait. I'll make one real quick comment and you go to it. I mean, in answer to your question, um, clearly not the first preference to have a salt sand mix, but considering where we're at, we're not even out of the month of January yet, uh, I would certainly be open to that consideration. Um, the only other thing that I would say is I don't think whether it's depositing salt or salt and sand to take a, a slight difference from you, Supervisor Wolf, for expect, respect your point of view. I don't think that's just a function of the snowfall. If we have a snowfall that's five or six inches, seven inches, and basically it can be plowed and cleaned up decently, and we basically do not have uh, slippery roads even with some snow, residual snow left on them in flat areas that aren't hills, intersections, or curves. I don't see the purpose in subdivision areas where there should be um, very modest travel speeds. I don't see the purpose and the need to just inundate those with salt or salt and sand, regardless of the amount of the snowfall. <clears throat> well, no, I guess I didn't mean that. I just mean if we get another, like we did a few Fridays ago, with the freezing rain and the, and the uh, rain, I think we need to salt or sand everything. Thanks, and you and I then maybe are much on the same page. I'm kind of differentiating between a snowfall, and in particular if we have a cold and dry snowfall, oh, right. and opposed to the freezing rain. I right. think those are two different things. Okay, thanks. I'm not sure where we're at on the salt sand mix, so you'll have to help me here. I'm just playing clerk here. At this point in the meeting, we'd ask the clerk to read where we're at on a motion. Uh, and so I'm saying that, that so far I have that there might be, a, you might be of the mind to adopt a motion, or to make a motion to adopt the recommendation of the town chairman that the contractor attempts to limit the use of salt to intersection hills and curves um, for the remainder of the season with a caveat from Supervisor Wolf that if necessary to maintain uh, reasonable safety to use to use additional salt and uh, authorize the town chairman to instruct the contractor accordingly. I'll so move. <clears throat> Is there a second? I'll second up the discussion. <clears throat> How are we going to blend the salt and sand, the salt we get here? That's that's done, well, here we're not going to be able to do it. It's going to be primarily wolf. Okay, so we'll have Jerry just spread salt on I don't have the salt sand in here, just to interject. I did not put this in this motion. That might be something you'll consider when you're out of salt. I don't know. Do you want to put it now? or I think we need to put it now because the, the if, if the winter continues as it has, we're going to have difficulty getting any more salt than the 500 tons that we have already ordered in excess of our allocation. Um, and and at, again, at this point last year, we used 1,262 tons. So. Um, if we mix it one to one, we're getting pretty close to that number. Mr. Clerk, if you have some phraseology to add in that manner, I would accept it as a friendly amendment to my motion. Well, and, and I apologize. I don't know enough of what we we have salt here. <clears throat> is my understanding, or we have salt available to our contractor, and we can't mix that with sand. 
we, we, we store some tonnage here, 40, 50 tons on that order. But the, the, the vast majority of our salt is stored out in Dousman at Wolf Paving. Wolf has the ability to blend the salt and sand mix. We would not have that here. I guess we would say that the motion would be to adopt the recommendation of the town chairman that the contractor attempt to limit the use of salt to intersection hills and curbs uh, for the remainder of this winter season. Before I say what the remainder of the winter season, and for everybody in the audience, I'm saying this for the tape recorder so the clerk can type this into to minutes. Uh, let me try it again. A motion to adopt the recommendation of the town chairman that the contractor attempt to limit the use of salt to intersection hills and curbs and to use a one-to-one -one salt to sand mixture for that product that he has at his location um, for the remainder of this winter season with the caveat from Supervisor Wolf that if necessary to maintain reasonable safety to use more salt um, and to authorize the town chairman to instruct the contractor accordingly. And also, I'll second. One last thing before we vote. Um, how are we going to let the public, besides the hand, handful here, know that we're doing that? Otherwise, our phone's going to run off the wall, off the hook. Well, perhaps we could talk to Freeman into uh, if she's going to write an article. If Sarah's going to write an article, maybe that could be included in the paper. A little notice. Yeah, send me a press, press release. release. <clears throat> okay. And Is I'll that share, something? I'll share with you. The Village of Sussex made the same announcement at their meeting. Either last Tuesday or a week ago, Tuesday. So they may have already been picking up on this from other communities also already. Is that a press release that you'd like us to, to write up an issue to you? Yeah. Okay. Two other suggestions, if I might. Uh, it may not get a huge amount of coverage, but I think that ought to go on the town's website. Another thing, I think we ought to actually put a posting uh, right somewhere in the front entryway. I, I don't see anything that would be lost by doing that. Anything further? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Opposed. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Mr. Bansky. Aye. 